Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Ah, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. That'll be our next move. But I have other things I want to do first. All right. Let me know when you want to move. You ready to interrogate Kellum? Okay. I'll make it happen. Wait. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I, I ask a question, you answer like the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think you are, you little shit? Bailey's gonna have to do some goddamn big favors to make up for this. Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will, after we're done. You're not the only one who can buy off CSEC, Kellum. What are you, fraud boy? His little apologist? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, huh? Didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. Elias, if we were after you, we'd have already put a bullet in your head. I'm running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Goddamn waste of my time. How about this? You tell us the target and... I said get out of my way, Bailey. You have no right to... What the hell is going on in here? Step away from my client. Is that... Do you have him tied to the chair? Glad you could make it, Freddy. Traffic was bad. I think I You'll failed. need a shovel the size of the Citadel to dig yourself out of this. This is all above board. I'm a Council Spectre. Shit. What? What's that mean, Freddy? Spectres can do whatever they want, Elias. I can't help you. Shit. If it was you I wanted, I could kill you and go. I want the assassin. Tell me who the target is, and I'll leave. Damn it. Joram Talin. He's a Turian, running for intended of Zakira Ward. Where can we find him? 
His apartment's in the 800 blocks. Let's go. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Okay, hopefully I did that part right. <clears throat> there he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira. Lord of Hunters, grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the council. This doesn't stop here. I I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You do. Do you have the target? Um. Target in sight. The hell was that about? He asked the question, I clicked when the screen popped.
One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Target in sight. Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No sign of trouble. Oh. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the uh, Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss see you. Do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your gun. What the hell? Talit, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? Oh, wow. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Think we were successful, or was that, or uh... <sighs> they've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive about ten years back. A bunch of real bad people were killed, like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. 
Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Plus five, Baragon. Okay. I think we're done with that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, so... Where was Thane? Oh, here. I just got a message from my wife. I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. <laughs> That's so cute. When this mission is over, I'm gonna give her the longest hug she's ever had. That's Samara. This is yep. Okay. Ah, here we go. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. What made you decide to become an assassin? I was asked to become one. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Huh. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact. We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. Then... The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Hmm. 
do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Ooh. Ooh. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few Not questions? Not at all. We need to have the best... I've already equipment. upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Han are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Han that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Han only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Han I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. <laughs> Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Oh. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? Right. That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Okay. So... Um, perhaps you guys can just, uh, yes or no question. Did I do that right? Hopefully I did that right.
Okay. Oh, I got two points. Um, I don't lie. I'm not using a flashbang at all. I do that. Hopefully, I did that all right. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> oh! That makes me feel bad. like a thread. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. I suppose with all that, anything new with you? How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay. Time to go and grab some platinum, shall we? Because I need to do uh, a lot of farming for uh, weapon increases. Uh. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, I should probably check, uh, 